My first reaction watching Spy in Paradise is how affecting it was. It's very personal. It's small, it's about being able to empathize with the characters in the documentary, which is super close to what I do every day at work anyway. It's all about figuring out what we can learn about the world through empathy, how we can empathize with what these animals are going through on a kind of very personal level, and from that, learning what our place in that drama is. It's gotta be the lone mother lioness when she's hunting for her kids and like fighting off the stronger male lions all by herself just to kind of keep this little family unit together. I think that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about that I think people will relate to quite personally on a strange level because everyone knows what it's like to be a parent fighting for your family. And you know, people have watched their parents do that for them. And that's kind of something that I think can connect everyone. It's very universal. I think it was the elephants being gardeners. I've never actually kind of thought of elephants as being particularly helpful. They tend to kind of take down trees and crops. But this idea that they are gardening the environment, that they kind of take down trees that create pathways and waterways for the water to flow along in the wet season, in the floodplains, how they work with the hippos, about how all of that interlinks with how they spread seeds from various fruits. I think finding how everything has its purpose and its place in maintaining the environment um, was definitely the coolest piece that I learned. Our central focus was in creating a dramatic narrative that an audience can hold on to and relate to and empathize with. And so it was all about just finding the through lines of what are these animals going through on a personal level? Um, how does that link into the wider picture? And how can I help communicate that with an audience in a very visceral and entertaining and funny and tragic way so that you go on a whole journey with us? It's tricky, because I'm a city kid. I live in London, but I think the joy is that London's a very green city. And so I try to get to the parks whenever I can. I love watching the seasons change, the leaves coming off the trees. I think there's those unexpected bits of wildlife, even in urban environments. Um, London has a, a population of parakeets, in the, which is the most unexpected piece of wildlife you'd ever think of in this part of the world. I think they might have escaped a zoo or a film set. The main thing I hope audiences take away and learn is how interconnected everything is. How the actions of one animal affect the other animals, how that affects the environment, how the environment then feeds back into those animals, how what we do affects the changing environment. There's the whole section with the elephants and how they have a generational memory that they pass on of the routes that they go to find water, of the routes that they take to avoid fires, of the techniques that they take to avoid fires and how they pass that down and how all of that changes depending on how we change their environment. And so 80 year old knowledge that's five generations old in elephants that suddenly comes under threat because those pathways to waters don't exist anymore because of what we've done. And it's how nothing lives in isolation anymore. Everything that we do outside of the Delta affects things in the Delta. Everything that happens in the Delta affects everything else in the Delta. So it's just that everything's connected and there's nowhere to hide from that really.